What's going on, bros and girls? Today, I'll be doing an unboxing and overview of the just released this month Ultimate Ears Mini Boom Wireless Bluetooth and NFC Portable Speaker. For something so small, it's told to pump out some pretty huge sound for its size, and I'm very excited to get these out of the box and see just how loud they go. Another very unique feature that I've never seen before in other wireless speakers is the ability to wirelessly pair the mini boom with another mini boom to have either a stereo stand with a wide separation or do a double up mode when you want the speakers to stream the same thing to virtually double up the sound. I will be doing a full review of this product after I get a good listen to them and see just how well they perform. And just to let you guys know, I did a review of another portable speaker, the Beacon Phoenix, and I will be unboxing and reviewing two, possibly three more upcoming speakers, so stay tuned for all those. And because the portable speaker market is getting so big with the dominance of smartphones and people wanting bigger sound from their devices, I'm thinking of doing a four or five speaker shootout comparing all of them at once. And if you guys do want to see that comparison, just give this bit a thumbs up or let me know in the comments. And for current pricing and availability, I've included some links for you down below. So for a quick tour around the box, the entire top is a window showcasing the product. You have the Ultimate Ears logo on the front, and that is on the window, not the actual speaker. And you also have the model name, and the button tells you that it has also a speaker phone for calls. On the right side, it tells you about the wireless pair-up feature for even bigger sound, and through the window you can see the volume up and down buttons, and the setter button is a multifunction button for Bluetooth and answering and disconnecting calls. The left side tells you the exact size measurements of the sound coming out of the mini boom. The top is just a hang tag, and on the back you see the power switch and connection ports, and you also have some of the main features like a long 50 foot range and a 10 hour battery life. Near the bottom you have some compatibility, but it's basically compatible with any smartphone or tablet with Bluetooth. And on the very bottom you have your UPCs and some info about Ultimate Ears. Onto the unboxing, there's just two tape pieces on the cardboard wrap, and after peeling those off you can slide the wrap right off. You now just have the acrylic casing and there's two buttons on either side that you push down and at the same time pull the window up and off. Once that's removed you see the mini boom in its full unboxed glory and it's about a typical portable speaker weight. Not heavy but hefty enough to convey a solid build and we'll get back to that in a moment but we always got to finish up unboxing the accessories. So same deal with the bottom piece, you have two buttons you push and pull apart and once her tops off you now have access to the treasures underneath. These two treasures consist of two pieces of documentation, a quick start user guide showing you how to connect to a device and the basic functions, as well as a safety and warranty pamphlet, and you also have the USB charging cable for connecting to your computer. So average charge time is about 3.8 hours. So back to the mini boom, on the front you have the speaker grill, the top as mentioned before have your controls for volume up and down and multifunction bluetooth, and the dot is the location of the speakerphone mic. Both sides have the ultimate ears branding and on the bottom you just have some boring FCC statements. And finally on the back you have an opening on the top, presumably to let the bass out and provide driver ventilation, and underneath that you have the 3.5mm port, and this is for if you have an auxiliary cable and want to connect your device with it and save a bit of battery, you can do so. To the left of that you have your micro USB charging port, and lastly besides that is your power switch and LED. Once the speaker is powered, there's an LED at the front that will either flash or stay lit depending on whether or not the speaker is paired with the device. And one thing I want to make note about the casing is that the entire black portion is made of a rugged soft touch hard rubber material that's great for keeping grip so it won't fall out of your hand and it definitely won't slip off the surface you place it on. So I just want to give you guys a live demo of how to set up your Bluetooth speakers after turning them both on, on the back. You'll see them both flash very rapidly and then from there you just go to your phone settings. I'll pull that up right now. And once you have your Bluetooth feature turned on on your device, you just click on one of them and it should pair it. And it'll say connected as you can see. And if you want to find out which one it is that was paired, just play some music. So you can see it's on this side over here. I'll just make sure the volume is on 100%. I'll show you guys how loud it sounds. I just found out that you couldn't really hear my voice. I was trying to tell you guys that this is the Rode mic I'm using. Um, it is mono also. And I'll just go into the application. I'll pair up the red one. You just go 
over here. This is the app you get from the App Store, uh, either with iOS or Android. So you go to Double Up. And once that's up, uh, hit start. And you actually do have to hit the Bluetooth button twice on this one for it to pair up. And you just give it a few seconds. So there you go, it shows the left and right channel. Uh, I'll go to stereo and you can see that's the the sides, uh, since it's flipped, I'll swap it around so you have the right channel in the correct order. And I'll play it now. You won't be able to hear the difference in stereo and double, but you should be able to hear the increase in sound. I don't know if you heard what I was saying, that was at 100%. Uh, you probably couldn't hear me, so yeah, it's pretty damn loud. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my unboxing and overview of the Ultimate Ears Mini Boom portable Bluetooth speaker. As mentioned before, keep an eye out for my full review of this product and the future comparison video. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys have any experience with Bluetooth speakers and which one you have owned. Maybe I'll get a hold of it and compare it to the Mini Boom as well as my other Bluetooth speakers. And if you did enjoy this video, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter, it would be much appreciated. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.